on the world champ, please welcome Sean Martin. And number 77, the 2007 Lumberjack World Champion of the World, please welcome Jenny Atkinson. And stepping out onto the two log, again this finals match will be a three out of five. And again we have a bucking match, this will be an exciting round. And you see that Shara Martin has a brace on her leg, she is competing with a damaged ACL. But it didn't slow this girl down one bit at all, she just won her first world title in the boom run here at the Lumberjack World Championships. And she is going for a first title in the log rolling here in Hayward. Starting things off nice and easy. Very much in control for both of these competitors. Shauna Martin learned to log roll in Madison, Wisconsin. And Jenny Atkinson is from the Stillwater, Minnesota log rolling the crowd. I think there's someone here from Stillwater today. That's right, give him a go. Oh, if you like what you're seeing out there, it is a one minute time. Event, uh, you know, has been really dominating the soaring events this season, and uh, oh man, I just, I just gave it all I had, and uh, it was really nice to come out with a win. But uh, special thanks to the guys from Duha, they're up in Double G up there. Thanks you guys for the support this year, and. Uh, You've been fantastic and it's a, it's a great pleasure to get a win. Well, congratulations again. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Wynyard, your world champion in single Sawyer for 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, back to women's log rolling brought to you by Northern Lakes Co-op. Toy Bowl, update. And, and the women's finalists have advanced through three log and its first fall goes to Sean Martin. Martin. Let's give those rollers a hand. That was a quick round. You can see that three log is spinning much quicker than the two. They're going to have to fight all that much harder to maintain their balance and stay on top. And folks, if you can see from where you are sitting that uh, log that the piece of western red cedar floating in the water that is taking on an hourglass appearance you can see in the, each uh, each side where the rollers are rolling it's getting worn down that is because they have spiked shoes on and that is what they use for traction those are called those were called cork boots back in the old days and it's very similar uh, the modern day log rolling shoes similar on the bottom as what was worn by the lumberjacks in the 1800s that gives the best traction and is still worn by some loggers on the west coast today and there's our whistle our match is underway once again sean martin up one fall against the current lumberjack champion jenny atkinson that is jenny wearing the hat Come on, folks, oh, look at these ladies out there working extremely hard. They look like they're in such control, but they're fighting for control of that log. Each one of them want to be in command of that and put their opponent in the water. That's right, folks, and watch them closely. Anytime you see those arms go up in the air or start to give the windmill effect, that means they are in trouble and they are fighting to regain balance. Now, not only are they fighting for the balance against each other, but even though it's a slight breeze that is having an effect on them, and if it gusts while they're out there, that could affect them a little bit also. That's right, and should that log drift too close to shore or too close to an opposite dock, or even into the, to the lily pads over there, that would count as an obstruction, and they would reset the match. We've had a few short bursts of white water out there, but both of these women are sizing each other up. This, is, this could be an endurance match, waiting for the opponent to make a mistake. And normally, Toivel, in a, a bucking match like this, we'd see one try to be the aggressor, or both try to be aggressive. Uh, a little bit of action there, some back That's right, it, it looks, John, like they are starting things out on a conservative strategy. And I'll tell you what, we, we've got a good shot at seeing the four log in this match as well. That would truly make for an exciting match for our finals. All right, there is a whistle from our judges.
too close to the weeds there. We will reset that women's log run match. Let's have another hand for Jenny Atkinson and Shauna Martin. All right, folks, our women are stepping back out and uh, we are resetting. There is one minute, four seconds remaining on the three log. And as it stands, it is Shauna Martin up one fall over Jenny Atkinson. Now, Ty, well, these ladies have been rather conservative already, knowing that the time is getting shorter on that log. Might we see some more action? That's a pretty good uh, prediction there, John. That one of them might try to make a move and stir things up. If we're going to get to the point, we're going to get to the point. 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 Incredible reaction there. You saw Shona Martin was backpedaling, backpedaling. Victory here could be very meaningful to take a sweep of the women's water sports against the boom run and the log rolling. Things are starting to get serious here, folks. Now watch them closely. We will wait for a whistle from the judges. And there it is. Time is in. The match is underway once again, folks. Watch them closely. Could we have a new world champion in this round? But will Jay Atkinson even the score, folks? Pick a favorite. Don't be afraid. We'll give him some encouragement. They can hear you. Who's going to be the next one in the water? You can see they're picking things up a little bit more than in the previous round. We got some hands in the air, and we see some white water coming up over the top of that western red cedar log. There's the whistle, and time has elapsed on the three log. They are going to the four log. Let's have a big hand for Shauna Martin and Jenny Atkinson. Folks, you are about to. The stick of dynamite is out there. Let's hear about it. The dynamite stick, folks, 12 inches in diameter. This is the second appearance today. Our previous women's match, the rolling for third place. We had a short appearance from the four log, and folks, it is going to be quick. It is going to be fast. So watch them closely. There's a whistle. Who's winning? It's the third one. There's a whistle. What is going to happen? So Jenny is going to have to fight hard in this next round to see if she can even the score in a 2 5 fall match. Yes, John? After they have a loss, do they have their choice of which side of the log they want? No, they have an option to switch sides. And it, hey, I'm so excited here. I can't tell. I, I can't remember if they're switching sides or not here. They did this they, time. They did. You can see how difficult it is to get that match started. So there's the rest of the folks things around the red arm. Could be over. Crosscut very shortly. Once again, the misery whip, a man and a lady on a 20 inch white pine log. Now, all these logs provided for us. A lot to talk about here, folks. This young lady said, You know, I never done well at Hayward before. <laughs> Shana, what happened this year? A sweep of the women's events, a world champion title in the boom run, and now the log rolling. What do you have to say for yourself? Well, first of all, it's all about having fun. If you don't have fun, it's not worth it. And I've said it before, I'll say it again. I do all this for my wonderful mom. She's been in a nursing home for the past 15 years with a disease called Huntington's disease. And she used to love coming to Hayward and we'd spend the week here and she loves cheering me on. And she can't be here now, so I'm doing all this for her. I love her. Very well-spoken words. I'm sure she's very appreciative. And now uh, this is this is your uh, actually a, a double whammy here. Now this is your third world title for U.S. log rolling, and the third title is also the lumberjack title. Is is there anything even special about that to say? 
extremely special. Jenny and I are together every year. She's an amazing competitor. I have so much respect for her. And I'm just thrilled. I There's no words. Well, on behalf of Northern Lakes Cooperative, I'm very pleased to present the 2008 Women's Lago and World Championship Trophy to Sean.